All right, boys, it's time to make some noise in the silent forest. It is now, I think, day 21. And I was told that in the comment section that someone would bring all of my gear if I paid them in the game. And I, I didn't know that, so I moved all of this here manually. But hey, you know what? That's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm completely okay with that. So what we're going to be doing is exploring... The Silent Forest. I think that's a pretty good idea. Don't know what we're going to find, but we're going to do it anyways. I think this will heal me if I take it, so I just need... I, I don't want to overload too much. I also don't want to waste too much time. We'll talk about the base later. The reason it is now day 21 is because when something goes wrong, Fox is typically his first reaction is to completely overkill it. And that's exactly what he did. I, I have boarded up all of the everything. But here's what the tank had, and I made sure I didn't do anything, unless something attacked me, I killed that off-screen. Let's go ahead and drop this stuff in. Looks like we got, like, stuff that the crew had remaining. Wait, okay, I, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the base. Yeah, so I spent those days saving up enough reputation to board up pretty much everything in the base. If it's a window, I don't care if I never use that room. For defense, I boarded it up anyways. Everything is completely boarded up, except for some of the doors. And even some of the doors I don't intend to use are going to be boarded up. I was actually fighting in the original base a bit in order to kind of get a, a more of a hang of how... Is that the truck or is that a person? It might have been the truck. Okay, I probably should be a little... Okay, that's definitely not the truck. Who's who's in here? Show yourself! Corpse. Come back for him. Like, our inventory isn't as good as it could be, so I'm constantly kind of going back and forth. But that's okay. Our goal is to just turn... I turned the original area just completely upside down. Like, I explored, like everything in that area so it's like it's revealed that's the important part there ain't there ain't nothing i mean i'm sure there there, there might be some little things here and there that i don't know about but let me tell you it's been revealed i, I explored the crap out of the dry meadows look at this stuff all this stuff i've gotten better at the looting so now, you know, instead of, like, constantly winding up in a situation where, oh, no, I'm out of inventory, if I'm close to the base, I'm just going to drop it off back here. I dragged out all of that furniture from all of the rooms, and so what I did is I decided that the, the, the room... Now, I haven't actually experimented with... Th this will be the second night, despite it being day 21, this is going to be the second night in the Silent Woods base. And so, I have chosen the room, I counted all the entrances in the different rooms, and I think that room has the fewest number of entrances, so that's the one I'm gonna go with. But this is probably why it was unnecessary to grind out all that wood, because I'm like, I'm probably gonna find a lot of wood. But that's fine. All of the extra wood and nails, I can just build uh, the nail bats with it. And I'll just sell nail bats. So, like, even if we have all that extra wood and nails, it's perfectly fine. Oh, I think there's someone inside here. Um, are you okay, boy? Are you an enemy? Could I loot? I'm gonna loot this. You can't kill me in one hit. I'll be mad if you kill me in one hit. Okay, so, uh, well, I'm gonna have to come... Uh-oh. I think he's awake. Are you gonna face me in combat? Oh, God! He's one of the choppy guys. What is he? Now you suffer. Oh, you're still you're still going. That's right. Okay, yeah, that was right. They're called chompers. Odd meat. 
I really beat his meat. <laughs> anyway, my soul will suffer in an afterlife, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna go over here. Um, let's just throw all this in here. And then we'll cook this, because why not? I, I love eating people's beaten meat. It's like, you know, tenderize the meat, and then you throw it in there, and it extract the goodness out of it. There you go. We still need a lot more meat in order to level up. I'm not sure if that is a Gordon Ramsay-approved method of preparing meat, but, um, what can we do? Broken truck, that's where we're going. I remember the treasure chest in there. Getting a lot of stuff. Like I said, this area is completely unspoiled because we have not... I have not explored this area. I have specifically left it... What are those? This is the wrong way. Where is the truck? Where is the truck? The truck. The truck should be really... Here it is. Yes! Give me the stuff. All of the stuff. Wimp. Loser. Oh, can I loot both halves of your body? No, just the upper half of your body. So those guys, they seem to be very similar to, like, the one that we fought earlier. And the key definitely, like, having the- being able to outrange them definitely seems to help. So, I'm running out of space even in here now, but that's okay, because I can finagle my inventory a little bit. By that I mean, what I can do is put all of the wood over here in the sawmill, because, I mean, that's where we would put the wood anyways. Just like that. And then eventually we'll chop those up into boards. And now we'll put this stuff back. Uh, yeah, there, we have a lot of stuff. Hmm. Inventory is getting a little cramped, isn't it? Let's keep going, though. Keep going, boys. Make sure this is in good position. There we go. Um, I'll double check. I'm pretty sure we got everything out of the truck, but I want to double check just in case. Oh, those are poison mushrooms. How about no? What are those guys called again? Ch Chomper, Chompy, Chomp, whatever. I'll, I'll come up with a name for them. Okay, we're clear. Let's check out those guys over here. I'm pretty sure these guys are not going to be happy to see me. Well, there's a lot of them. You know what I could do? Dun, 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 burn! Come on, come on. What do you got? Oh, is that is that your weakness? Oh, okay. So the the answer was calm this entire time. I'd been experimenting, which is why there's three dead bodies at the entrance earlier, and I had a hunch that that I could outrange them. And all it meant is that I just had to keep them in sight, because that's what I had been doing wrong this entire time. So it looks like... I actually can use my range against them. And it kills them in two hits, that's amazing. Okay, we got a lot of loot here. We gotta come back in a bit. So, like, I'm actually really enjoying this game. I'm, I'm pretty into it. It's like, I actually like that practicing and experimenting with new ideas, it does feel really rewarding, because it's like, I've been like, even though I'm, I'm kind of doing things the long way, which is why we're on day 21, I, I'm invested in doing things the long way. 
It's like the trial and error I do find quite enjoyable. Just figure... I mean, now, the thing is, if it were a, a bad game, then, like, obviously I wouldn't want to do trial and error. And trial and error can be really tedious, but I'm really enjoying in this game that... The enemies that seem to have these really unfair advantages... Like, they, they have, you just need to, like, kind of experiment with them and see, like, what their weaknesses are. I, I do enjoy that quite a bit. So we're just, like, we're at to sell off some stuff, because, like, we just have so much stuff. Like, I'm still running out of inventory. But that's perfectly fine. I One thing I really like about this game is the defense. Like, the nighttime defense is actually really engaging, because it's like, I don't... I have not figured out my solution for how to defend at night in this base, but we're going to try my first idea. And if that doesn't work, I've got every single other building in that base to experiment with. And I like that. I like that there is actually a, pr a sense of progression, not just in terms of the items that I get, but in terms of... Wow, that's a lot of ammo. Shoes? Shoes don't have any... And gun frame, well, not as useful anymore. I always need more metal. I wonder if I shouldn't have killed these guys. No, oh, they're savages, okay. I was wondering if those were innocent people at first. But they're not. Hot meat. I've even gotten a little bit better at the trading aspect of the game, because it's like, sometimes you want to sell to the trader, and sometimes you want to sell to the wolfman, because... The, uh, the wolfman only buys certain items, and when I was really mass-producing certain th Yeah, I thought that was the sound of a... ...of a dog coming after me. Okay, that's something I didn't... Oh, wait, wait a second. I have all those other things I can put my items in. I, I'm so lo I was so locked into the idea that I had to use... ...that... ...this. I can, I can put my stuff in this as well. There's, there's no nothing stopping me from doing it. Oh. No, I, I completely lied about that. There is something stopping me. So the reason I'm using that room is because... I've realized that all of these other rooms can be boarded up. Or just completely, like... I So, like, in the other base, I've experimented on how to properly position... ...draggable objects to actually turn them into real barricades. Where, like, they, the enemies actually cannot get past them. And the key is you gotta basically put them in a door... on a, ...against a door where the wall acts as a jam. So that they can't push them any farther because they're pushing it against the actual, like, indestructible wall of the building. And if you do that, then it actually just jams the pushable objects in place and then they, and then they, they work the way you hope they would work. The reason they weren't working before is because they could just push them out of the way the same, I, as the same way I could. So it looks like we've explored that section. Let's take a look down here. I want to be back at about 9... Or 1900, I guess. So let's check out this bottom corner over here. More savages. Yeah, I don't have a good sight on them, so I don't know if there's more. Well, let's make, let's see how the the quantity of them look at first. Hey, that's my home base right there. Oh, I thought he was gonna throw that at me for a second. Oh, is he a rock-throwing guy? I think he is. I, got, I could throw something back at you. Don't think I can. Oh, he almost had me. Oh my god, I swung just in time before he hit me. Ow! Oh, he... What a wimp! He dies in one hit. Man, he needs to go to the gym. What a loser. Face me in combat. Now I know your weakness! Oh yes, it feels so good. My stick is fancier than your stick. Okay. Almost time for night, so let's go ahead and... Finish up some things at the night. Um... 
The first thing I want to do is get some metal out and some wood and repair my shovel. I need to make sure the shovel is in operational status. Uh, I also need to make sure I got some traps, probably two. Let's put, let's put, what can I, what am I able to put away that'll stack? Okay, I want probably at least one more trap. And let me get out some fuel. And I guess we can start chopping up some of these these into uh, wood. There we go. That'll make up some room right there. Now we could just we'll just spend one of these to refill it up. I don't know how many notches, but we'll chop up the boards we've got for now. That's that's fine. And and it also is condensing them. So like, cause th those planks stack up a lot better. But yeah, you can see I boarded everything up. Everything in this base is boarded up. I don't know what the best room is going to be, but the reason this room here looks pretty good... Oh, I need to turn the generator on. Close the door. And now we need to drag this into place. You see, we could just pull it in like this, and it'll get jammed. And then they won't be able to push it any farther. See, I can't even pull it any farther. And then, uh, let me... Because it's officially nighttime now. Um, let me turn this on real quick. So this is boarded up. Behind this door is another one of those barricades, those manual barricades I created. And over here, they might they might be able to get in through there. So I would... I'm gonna go ahead and... put a trap here. Which one are they attacking? Okay, so this one wasn't good enough. I can also see the health. You can see the health down below. You can see how much damage they're doing to it. So I've gotten better at understanding how close they are to going down. I probably should put my lantern on so I can actually see. I'll fight. That's the end of you. Let's put another trap here. Okay, so that door did not hold. Good. I need a healing item. Nope, nope, nope. Ghosts are opening doors up. Ugh. Stupid ghosts. Um, I need a healing item. Probably build another trap. Get me a... Where are my healing items at? Here's a healing item. Give me my torch. Give me some planks and some nails. Close the door. Ooh, that's a big pounding noise. I don't like the sound of that. What is that pounding noise? Not happy with that sound. Don't like it. Don't like it. I mean, I heard a door creak, so I'm guessing it's the door over there. Once again, the reason why I brought both of the lamps in here is because of ghosts. 
the ghost will turn off your lamps, but it seems like they don't turn them both off. And the ghosts will attack you in the night if it's too dark. Like, the ghosts are repelled by light, so I have them both in the same room because... I think he's over there. I think he's to my right. God, his footsteps are so heavy sounding. I think I'd much rather fight those stick savage guys than the, those big old wolf dogs. Even though they both only take two hits. I'm not sure, what is he doing? I think, I think he might be trying to push through the barricade. I think, okay, here's my theory. I think he's trying to constantly push through the barricade and he's failing. And so he's constantly walking towards the barricade, trying to push it. That's my theory. Oh my god, I think we made it, boys. I want to loot those guys, then. Give me your loot. No. Give me your loot. Give me your loot. Loot. Oh, I almost stepped on my own trap again. That would have been bad. Okay, never mind, never mind. I don't want the loot that bad. I'm not gonna do that a sec. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, cool. His loot stays there? Oh, I... I have no idea. Well, we succeeded, boys. Um... Okay. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I was... Unsure. Oh my god, let's buy this. Oh my god, let's buy this. We have... We can make an upgrade with that. We gotta sell some stuff back to him as well. But first, I just want to make the upgrade. That's like a perfect end of this. Rope. Uh, let me put some of this in there. Alright, so... What we're gonna make now is we're going to build... A hot bar upgrade. Because I want to be able to carry more stuff... Because what I've noticed is that I like to have my lantern sometimes, but then I can't have healing and a cocktail or a pistol, so what we're going to do is construct the hot bar upgrade. Bam. Now we have... So it's like... So I guess the hot bar upgrade in some ways is just better than the inventory upgrade, just because even though the inventory gives you two, two bars, this one gives you half the amount of bars, but it gives you an active slot, so... You know, I don't know. Maybe the hot bar is better at the beginning. I don't even know. They're both really good. I want them both. But, yeah, there we go. Like, this is crazy. Like, I probably... Maybe I'll sell some stuff. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. We've got a lot of stuff, though. But we now that it's daytime, we can actually see... So over here, that's like a planter pot that I jammed in there. There's a... Do uh, that is jammed there. A sofa. I... The, uh, we've got a dresser. So this one didn't work. They were able to get past this one. I'm not sure why, though. Did they destroy it? I think they destroyed the objects there. Oh, did he smash it with a weapon? But not those ones? How? This game is so curious. So this was going to be my first area to try. Let's go ahead and disarm the trap real quick. I, do, I believe I get some materials back, though. So it's not a full loss. So... We tried to survive here earlier. This area was terrible because here's an entrance, here's an entrance, this is an entrance, and this is an entrance. So this had basically this room here because this is um, this is a permanent barricade. This was a way in. So this room was like okay. This this room I was thinking about as well, just because maybe we could have blocked that up and that up. So this, that was an area, this one was terrible. Like, this one had way too many ways in. This is the one that can be broken, that can be broken. They could be, they could break in through there and come in through here, as well as over here. This area also, this room was also not acceptable because... That's a way in, that's a way in, that's a way in, and down there is a way in. So that one had four ways in, obviously this area is destroyed. Oh, gotta go around. Don't want to actually start the next level. We're just examining things. But there's also down here where the, um... 
Over here was basically another area I had considered. So this one has potentially three ways in, but because the sawmill is so close to here, I was like, okay, I could easily block this one up. So really it only has two ways in. But the thing is, this is another area where you could definitely shove some items in. I could definitely shove something in here and jam this one up completely. So I was like, maybe there would only be one way in through here. So I was like, maybe. But the ultimate reason why I chose this one here is because the workbench is there. That's really the main reason I wanted that one. I like the idea of being able to access my workbench in the event something went wrong. Because you got the workbench here, you got this here. This door held as I had hoped. I'm just kind of, I'm not confident about this one. I don't know if they would, I, I well, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to break through that. But over here, obviously, Oh, I could repair the bathtub and the war. Oh, I bet I, I could repair those, but they just, so he smashed them. There was a functioning bathtub here. I did not know they could do that. This game, there's always something new to learn in this game. Anyways, I think that's good enough. We will continue exploring and working our way over to Wolfman's camp. But right now we've got, we've got like a treasure trove of stuff. Like if I sell this stuff off, there's no doubt about it. I'm going to be able to afford more of those inventory upgrades. How much is the shovel worth, real quick? One fit now, it wouldn't be worth it to make a shovel. I don't know what to do with those sticks. I know I can make items with it, but like, they don't seem that they, I might just sell them as they are. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this episode. I might even be able to use my pistol more if, if we're gonna get this much influence, because I believe we get more influence for surviving in this base. I think it said I got 150, which is the point of surviving in this base here. This one gives me 100. It tells you at the end of each one, you gain 100 influence with the, uh, the trader. So if we could survive efficiently here, then we're just making a bigger profit. So that's like the goal of mastering each base is like, you know, Fox is in it for the money. He's not here to save anybody. He's in for the money. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Who knows what day I'll be on in the next episode of Dankwood. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like this video if it's entertaining. Subscribe for future Dankwood content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good. Thank you.